So you have this indigo, but then the, the indigo is over a, a tri triangle. X and Y. Right. And then triangle bounded by the positive X and Y axis and the line X plus Y equals to one. This is the line x plus y equals to one, so this is uh one zero, and this is zero one, and this is zero two, right? So integrating over this area, okay. Mm. Let's see if we can put this in the form of one of the integral form of the beta function. Yeah. Um, x to the p and y u x and y and now you want the limit to refract your uh, your area of integral so you want integral so there are two ways to do that, uh, or, or more than two ways. Okay. Let's see which way we we'll, we'll get to the front. Let's just try. Uh, I forgot which way to do it. We'll, we'll do it ourselves, but let's let's see what what it is. Uh, and uh, maybe the x is from zero. So the x is from zero to one. Zero to one. And then y will be from zero to to a so any x value y will be from zero to this is the line x plus y equals one so y is equals to one minus x right so you integrate y from zero to one minus x okay so, so that is the integral and now let's carry on and See if this is getting to one of these uh, integral representation of the beta function. And for this one, obviously, because x is in the limit, you want to integrate y first. We keep the dx here, so one. And dy is y to the cube, so integrate to y to the cube plus one. Divided by q plus one. Right. And then evaluate at zero and minus x. Right. That equals to x and zero to one. And this becomes a uh, one minus x to the Q plus one power divided by Q plus one. We still and need an one. X to the P, don't we? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. X to the P, yeah. No, I forgot the X to the P. Yeah, we have X to the P here. All right, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I just put the Y. Okay. Yeah, that's more like it. All right, so that uh, changed the form to this integral. Let's now see if this is one of the form that in the, in the beta function. And it looks like it's similar to 13.49, right? Let me just write down 13.49. Beta function. It's not the same P, so let, let, it, let it not use, use the same P because we have already have P and Q, so that, not that confusing. Let's just use uh, whatever. What should I use? M and N. M plus one. N plus one. N plus two. So one. Two. Three, N. 
and lines here to the end. And 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 that that is that is this uh, representation in the group of the same inclusion of the data function. We can look now compare that with just and one more thing before we do that uh, there's some assumption obviously because if we get rid of the lower limit that uh, meaning that Q will be uh, greater than minus one. Okay. There's some there's some limit on this P and Q. I don't know whether the questions give you the limit. Uh, the question doesn't have the limit. Doesn't specify the limit of Q. Uh, but uh, but we want uh, the integral to exist anyway, and then the in the integration area include the origin. So why would it zero if if q is not greater than minus one? then the integration will not exist anyway. So, so we need that. We need, we need that condition to, for the integral to exist anyway. So we can assume that uh, by the existence of the integral, assume that uh, this P and Q satisfy some, some condition. And that will imply that uh, we can ignore this lower limit because we substitute zero to here. And we want this to go to zero. So that will give it this give us this form. All right. So finally, is uh, comparing this with that. We have zero to integrate zero to one, and then the integration variable to the power. This is to the power p. This is power m, and this is one minus x one minus t. This is to the power q plus one. This is power m. Right. So. We can compare this and that and show that this is uh, other than this q plus one factor here. It's the beta function. Uh, identify this is p with constant n is in here. So it's p plus one. And then this is q plus one. becomes n. So n is q plus one. And where right, n is q plus one, so this becomes q plus two. Okay. That uh, lets us from this. Now the final step would be to relate that to all these uh, factorial representation, which is given by 13.45. Does the question ask you to, to relate to this, uh, this uh, factorial representation? And so we need the thirteen point forty five, which is the <laughs> another P and Q. Uh, let's let's just as uh, again using M and N. Just avoid confusion. Confusion. This is gamma n. And then let's write it like gamma n. And if m and n are integer, then uh, that's changed to factorial. This becomes m minus 1 factorial. And n minus 1 factorial. This is n plus n. I think uh, uh, this is something to, to detect it right down here this time. But anyway, uh, this is just changing gamma function for integer factorial. Now we compare this with that. Okay, this will be equals to uh, Q plus one. Now you have uh, this m is p plus one. So p plus one minus one become p. 
and uh, and uh, n n n is q plus two k plus two minus one is q plus one the term. and then divided by m and n so this is m this is n so k plus q plus three minus one so it's q plus Q plus two. Okay. okay. And now one more final simplification is that you have a Q plus one here, so that cancel one two, one fa one factor in the Q plus one factorial. So that becomes Q factorial, Q factorial, Q plus Q plus two factorial. Okay, so that is the that is the first that is the first uh, equation, and to relate back to this beta function, so the final form is uh, compare this with that. So this is like uh, this becomes m minus one. So that becomes a uh, P plus one, and that becomes Q plus one, Q plus one, and that becomes a P plus Q plus, because this is M plus N, this is P plus Q plus two, so P plus Q plus one, plus one, so P plus Q, Q plus two in, the, in here, so that, uh, let me, and then gamma q plus one q plus two. So that is the state beta function. And this is p plus one q plus one. Good. Uh, but this is not the final form. Let, let's do it again. So P is a curve. P is a, uh, what the form is, uh, this is, oh, you want that, you want a P, no, you have, you want the M minus one factorial is P, so that is uh, gamma P plus one, so that's fine. This is Q, this is, uh, no, this is gamma, one. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, we can we can get this this factor out. It becomes a get this factor out becomes p plus q plus one factorial, right? And so this is this becomes gamma p plus. Q. This is this one, right? Uh, no, 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 plus two. Plus two, so you need to increase by one, plus two. This is this one. And then you multiply by another factor, plus q plus two here. And this is this divided by p plus q plus q. Okay, so that's the second equation in the, in the questions. 13.3.6. Okay, so compare this with that one. So the, both are the same, except that uh, this is Q plus two, this is Q plus one, and then this is divided by Q plus one, this is divided by Q plus, P plus Q plus two. Okay, so we just, uh, we just need to be just transforming one gamma from and then with some factor different. Okay, but uh, anyway, you, you finally figure out how to get to the form required by the question.